Hey friends, welcome again to another session on number system. And uh, in this topic, we are going to discuss finding an irrational number between two numbers. Let us say, if there are two numbers given A and B, and you are asked to find out uh, an irrational number between them, then how to go about it? So if you recall, what did we do when A, if we had to find out a rational number between two numbers? What am I saying? A rational number between two numbers, then we knew that a rational number, rational number, rational number between, between A and B, a rational number between A and B is nothing but the average or arithmetic mean of them. So A plus B by 2. So is a rational number lying between A and B, A and B, if A and B are not equal. Okay, so this is for the rational number. What about rational number? So similarly, uh, an irrational number, an irrational number, irrational number lying between, an irrational number lying between A and B is given by root of A and B. A B if A B is not a perfect perfect square okay so if not a perfect if A B is not a perfect square then root of A B is a uh, irrational number line between A and B let us take few examples so let us say I have to find out find out question is find find one irrational number irrational number between 2 and 3 2 and 3 so clearly what is it it is nothing but under root 2 into 3 so is equal to root of 6 okay so root 6 is a is an irrational number lying between 2 and 3 another example let us say i have to find out irrational between 2 and 2.5 2 and 2.5 any rational number between 2 and 2.5 will be nothing but 2 into 2.5 which is root of 5 right root of 5 so and actually if you use a calculator you will see that root of 5 is between 2 and 2.5 another example let us say i have root of 3 and root of let us say 5 i have to find out an irrational number between root 3 and root 5 how to do it Nothing but under root multiply both root 3 into root 5. So hence it is under root root 15. Right? Root 15, which is nothing but 15 to the power 1 by 4. So fourth root of 15 is between root 3 and root 5. Right? So let us say another example if we have 1 by 2 and 2 by 3. So what do you need to do? Simply a number. Uh, ir irrational between rational number between 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 is under root 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 is equal to under root 1 by 3 okay so all these are ir examples of irrational number between two numbers a and b if a and b are uh, uh, in a and b is perfect square then what happens then if a into b is perfect square then root of a b will be another uh, rational number then you repeat this process of finding uh, the irrational number. What do I mean? I say, let us say, AB is equal to, let us say, C square. Okay, AB is a perfect square. So, root of AB will be C, right? And we are dealing when AB is a, when AB is a perfect square. AB is a perfect square. So, AB can be expressed as C square. So, root AB is equal to C. So, hence, now, an irrational number irrational number between between a and b will be nothing but an irrational number irrational number between a and c is it it so, right so on a number line if i have to represent if this is a this is let us say b and somewhere this is C. So if you if you find out find out a rational number here, which is nothing but root of AC, then your job is done. Yeah. 
So this is all about how to find out an irrational number between two given numbers. And why is it working by the way is simply this. Let us say a is less than b. So clearly a square is less than b square. Also if you see a is less than b that means a b is less than b square. Multiplying both sides by b you will get a b is less than b square. Similarly when a is less than b then a square is less than a b multiplying both sides by i a right so hence uh, and we are considering here a to be a and b to be positive right so hence if you if you add this inequality or let us say from inequality 1 and 2 you'll get what a square is less than a b is less than b square hence taking square root all across you'll get a is less than root a b is less than b so hence if a b is not a perfect square then definitely root a b is an irrational number between irrational number between irrational number between a and b okay let us say if this method doesn't appeal you then you can always have this methodology let us say you have to find out an irrational number between 2 and 3 so you know what is an irrational number it must have non terminating non terminating as well as non repeating non repeating decimal 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 representation decimal representation isn't it so hence you can always say this type of number will be irrational between 2 and 3 which type of number let us say 2.01 then four zeros one, then five zeros one, right? Five zeros one, then six zeros one, and so on and so forth. Isn't it? This is a if you see this is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal representation. So this is definitely greater than two and definitely less than three. Okay, this is another way of finding an irrational number between two and three. You could have done any other such arrangement like 2.313133333333 and so on and so forth yeah again non terminating non repeating so it is more than 2 but less than 3 this is another way of finding an irrational number between two numbers now if they say find more than one irrational number between two numbers then you know what to do you can repeat the process so let us say if i have to find out two between a and b so i'm finding out two irrational numbers numbers between a and b so you first find out c so a b root root a b will be the first number and second number will be nothing but under root a into root a b Likewise, and you can repeat the process, isn't it? Example, so if 2 and 3, I have to find out 2 irrational number between 2 and 3. So what do I do? First is nothing but 2 into 3, which is root 6. Then I find out either one between these two or between these two. Right? So the next number will be nothing but 2 into root 6 under root. So which is nothing but if you simplify, this is 4, 6, 24. Root 24 is another such number. Then again, if I want one more, so you can use these these two, these two, and you can say under root 3, root 6 is another such number, so which is nothing but 9, 6 is 54. So if root 54. So if you see root 24, root 6, and root 54 are all less than, oh, sorry, greater than 2, but less than, I'm sorry, uh, Yes, so this is nothing but, oh, uh, this is nothing but root of root of 54. I'm sorry. This is root of root of 54 and this is root of root of 24, right? No, so hence if you see, this is nothing but, yes, root of 24, which is nothing but 24 fourth power. This is 54 fourth power, isn't it? So hence, 2 is less than 24 fourth power, fourth root, then root 6, then 54 fourth power this will be like that yeah is less than 3
okay so this is what it is all about finding irrational numbers between two given numbers